Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, mongrels. Mark here, and we're playing Days Gone, working on Bugged the Hell Out. And I'm going to show you how to unlock this Nero checkpoint without drawing any freakers in, because it makes a lot of noise. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the map here so you can see where we are. Um, but yes, when you fire up that generator, it could generate a bunch of noise drawing freakers, and we don't want that. So I recommend parking your bike back down there and don't do what I did and park it up here. Um, it's kind of unnecessary. You can get spotted. Uh, I'm not going to stealth the very front part of this. As you can see, I, I kind of tried to do it. I was going to take a rock here and I was going to throw it. Maybe you'll have success doing it. Um, it did work. I mean, it does lure the freaker closer. But what I should have done is thrown the rock not right there but I should have thrown the rock so that the freaker goes past me. So I guess this proves if you have a rock and there's someone next to you, when you go to throw it, because I squeezed the left trigger, I actually popped out and that's when he saw me. So uh, lesson learned, don't do that. Now, only use melee here because remember, when you make any sounds, especially gunfire, it draws more freakers. So we don't, we don't want to do that. Now, look at the durability on that ax go down goes down very quickly um, I highly recommend you pick up the field operations or field repair skill um, as you can see it allows you the ability to use R2 and scrap on in the field to repair melee weapons um, it's really useful so I hope you uh, hope you consider picking up early on uh, very helpful so let's go ahead and get back in here uh, be sure you pick up all the ears too I um, I think they're probably pretty easy to miss, but those are those are pretty this valuable is it. too. Near a checkpoint, I got to find Ooh, some shit for well, boozers. Machete. Nice, we're definitely taking that. Some of these melee weapons are really soft, though. That durability goes down very quickly. Um, let's go ahead and work our way over here. And stealth is funny in this game because you do have a visual meter and a sound meter on the bottom right. But this was me trying to see if I could go back into stealth, and I had a hard time getting back into stealth with freaker or with freakers. Um, so I don't know how well it works actually in the game if you can get back into stealth. But anyway, now that we're here, uh, we have one more guy to clear out. There's actually a total of four freakers, um, and there's one more left. First, let's go ahead and see if we can get anything from this car. Remember, with cars always open up the front first so that you can disable the alarm don't open up the back the trunk first because then if the alarm goes off you got to run around and freakers are already on top of you so uh that's definitely something we don't want to do there's our nearer checkpoint this is the first of 12 um these are useful because you will unlock a fast travel um spot and also you can get an injector that'll boost health stamina or focus and uh, both of those are really useful. And also, um, there's a, a little trick that if you fast travel back to these in the game, the supplies, um, they do respawn. So you can come back and you can get more stuff, including those gas tanks, which are super helpful. So let's open up the front of this car, see if there is anything in here. You just always want to make sure you're clearing out the entire area before, just in case, a horde of freakers come by. While it's still quiet, we want to make sure we get all our stuff. Now, before you grab that bandage, be sure you come in, heal yourself to the max. So that you use, no, not a med kit, yeah, bandage. So use it up, heal yourself so you can then free up an inventory slot. Then you can take the bandage. Seems pretty basic, but it's sometimes I forget to do that stuff too. Okay. So we've cleaned out just about everybody. So these Neros are they're kind of like little puzzles. So first we want to run around the outskirts and we want to grab all the goodies. Molotovs are so, so important in this game, especially when you want to destroy nests. Um, you pretty much have to have Molotovs. Um, and they're great for battling hordes and stuff like that. Um, there always seems to be stuff goodies around the checkpoint. So go ahead and collect those. Let's see what we have in here. Nope, not back here. The door is not here, the generator is not here, but there's a fire axe. Look at the damage of the fire axe. Has, the durability is lower, but that 
that axe is awesome. I, so the axe is pretty much kill freakers in one hit, which is really helpful. So if you have field repair, it'll make it a little easier to have that thing longer. So again, be sure you pick that up. Okay, there's our generator. So in order for us to get the generator, generator up and running, we need gasoline. Um, but before we get the gasoline, we need to disable the speakers that are up top. So, oh man, there's a bunch of goodies out here too. Let's go ahead and look over here and see. Anything Molotov really is the best and I'm already maxed out with that. Let's head back over here. And you can see there's a bunch of stuff in the building, of course. But let's go up on the, so just find something, a box or a trash can or a dumpster so that you can climb up to the roof. And we're gonna walk along the side of the building. And you're gonna do this for every single checkpoint. Um, and then when you come across these speakers, you're gonna squeeze, press and hold the square button. And so when we disable those speakers, um, you can also shoot them with a suppressor, but why waste the ammo, right? So if you can't get up on the building, then go ahead and use the suppressor, but we wanna conserve our ammo because ammo is hard to come by. So that's two speakers and we wanna make sure we get all of them. So just walk along the side, make sure we get all of them. Sometimes they can be a little tricky and they try to hide them or disguise them behind things but it looks like we're good to go. Okay, so we're good on the roof. Let's go ahead and hop down. Now we need gasoline. So there are actually two gas uh, cans here. Let's go ahead and grab the, the farthest one back here. Grab that. And then we're gonna bring it back to the generator and let's fill that generator up. And now we don't have to worry about the speaker is turning on and broadcasting when we start the generator. And so the generator is not back there. The start button is always up front, right here. So we're gonna press and hold the square button, start her up. Yes. Awesome. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and you can see the power's on, here come the lights. So there's the door. That's what the doors look like to get inside. Usually there's a, there's a couple doors to get in there. So let's go ahead and go in. And there's just a bunch of stuff bandages, in here. So be sure you are bandages, thorough in grabbing condition. bandages and supplies and ammo and a bunch of other stuff. And feel free to open up the doors and just leave them open because why not? Um, because that's fun. Uh, and then what you're gonna look for is a nice big box like this. And this is where the Nero injector is. And this is what's gonna allow us to upgrade our health, our stamina, or our focus. And it is up to you. I don't think there is maybe a wrong answer, but I tend to lean towards stamina. Because stamina is so incredibly crucial. You need good stamina to protect your health, not in all cases, but in most cases. So. Uh, sort of running from hordes or kind. trying to catch up to somebody uh, or trying to run away from somebody who has spotted you in stealth, stamina just seems the right way to go. But feel free to choose whatever you think works best with your play style. Um, and we'll go from there. Better living through um, oh, there's also one last thing I want to show you guys. So once you've gone through and you've grabbed everything... Um, oh yeah, there's a gun locker too. Uh, each location has a gun locker and in here, remember these are only weapons, not that you pick up in the field, but only weapons that you have purchased at the encampment. Um, I wish it were the other way around, but it's not. Um, but after you go through there, get whatever guns you need, don't forget to come and grab another gas can so you can fill up your motorcycle. Because remember, fuel is it's not that it's hard to come by, it is, it is out there, but if we could just keep the gas tank topped off as much as possible, then that, then that saves us money, and it also Loser saves us time it, going out there and trying to get more fuel. All right, I hope this was uh, helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.